Hi, I'm Brian Russell. I'm the author of Invitation Bible Study, and I want to thank you, my, my new friends at Wadley First United Methodist Church, for, for using my Bible study. I want to give you a shout out, and again, thank you. I'm grateful. It's, it was a pleasure to write Invitation. I wrote it for persons just like yourself. I'm passionate about the scriptures. I try to read, contemplate, study, and live out the Bible uh, so that I can then share those deep truths that come out of it uh, with others. And I try to do it in ways that uh, help you to better understand Scripture and so that you can uh, live them out yourselves and experience the, the transforming power of the gospel. Uh, I serve as a professor of biblical studies at Asbury Theological Seminary, and I'm also the dean of of the School of Urban Ministries down on the Orlando, Florida campus. Uh, your pastor, Chris Shoemaker, was one of my, actually one of my very first students. I remember Chris. I'm grateful for him. We were both a little bit younger when we first met. He was uh, a good guy and a, a worked really hard, and, and I, um, I'm grateful that he's uh, serving as your pastor now. Um, let me say a couple things about invitation. You're a few weeks into the study, so you have read some of the book Invitation, but I want to remind you and make sure, and this is the most important thing, Invitation's an introduction uh, to this book, and this is ultimately the most uh, important part of the study. Uh, Invitation's the first of uh, Seedbed's uh, One Book products, and, and our goal essentially is to teach the transformational truths of the Bible. We don't want to create you know, permanent customers of, of our Bible studies. We really want to empower you to read God's Word and study it every day, experience the transformation uh, and the ways that God speaks to us through His Word. And so my goal and invitation is simply to introduce you to the Bible. Now I invite you, if you haven't been doing this already, uh, a prayer that you can use every day when you're reading the scriptures that go with the invitation and then reading my comments is pray to God that He would astonish you anew every single day with the riches of His Word. Uh, that's my prayer. Uh, Lord, astonish me, because when we're astonished, uh, that uh, we're ready then to receive all that God has has for us. And as you're beginning to get a sense of an invitation as we move through the scriptures, started with Jesus and his announcement of the kingdom and his calling of disciples to be a missional community that reflects God's character uh, to the rest of the world. Now we're, you're back in Genesis and you're beginning to move through creation and then the problem, which is sin, and then God's solution, which is ultimately going to be the gospel. I've tried to focus around really three themes to help you. And as you read the Bible, you want to always be thinking about three themes, mission, community, and holiness. And so I phrase those in questions. It's, uh, who's my mission? Uh, this, we have the scriptures because God wants us. God wants to redeem us, save us, so that we can serve then as God's hands God's feet, and God's mouthpieces in the world. So who is my mission? Because a mission is not a what. A mission is always people. The gospel comes to us on its way to someone else. That's the good news. And, and then God invites us to be part of a community. You're experiencing hopefully some community in your Bible study. But you know who has God put into my life that I'm going to live this life with? And, and who's going to help me in my faith? And who am I going to help? And so community is a key thing. God wants us to be a communities of faith that are on mission. And then that last value is, is holiness or character. Uh, God wants to transform us so that when we're in community, when we're on mission, when other people see us, they can see something of the work that God has done in our lives, that we become persons who are known by love, that we live by faith, that we're voices of hope. All those things work together. So mission, community, holiness. Who is my mission? Who is my community? And what kind of person does God desire for me to become through his grace? Again, I hope to meet you in person someday, but uh, until that time, you'll be seeing me on the DVD. Again, very grateful. Thank you for using invitation. If you have any questions, uh, Pastor Chris knows how to get a hold of me. Um, I wish you the best. I'll be praying for you every week. Live by faith, be known by love, and be voices of hope to others. Until next time.